Hey guys, I'm back with another quick video on managed databases. We know that DigitalOcean is providing the simple solutions for everything related to cloud. So we will create a MongoDB database today on the managed databases section of on DigitalOcean. So if you haven't signed up already on DigitalOcean, you can go to the link I have added to the description below and create an account. So today we are gonna deploy the MongoDB database on DigitalOcean. So head over to the databases page on the left panel or you can go to the create drop down and there you can see the databases section. This is the landing page of the databases. Uh, we will create a MongoDB database. So create on MongoDB database. Now select the data center you want. I'll select the Bangalore data center. You can choose the version here uh, 5.0 or 4.4. I will go with the 5.0 version. You can choose your plan. You can see there are lots of plans with the MongoDB clusters. So I will select the $15 per month plan that is the basic one. And I will leave the given name of the cluster. So if you want to create the tags you can create those tags here and this is the summary of the database we are going to create so this will charge me about $15 a month and we are getting one CPU 1 GB of RAM and 15 GB of SSD so I'm clicking on the create database cluster so this will create our database cluster for us just to wait for a minute or two so you can see that mongodb database is getting created meanwhile we can get the other things done so you can add your ip only you can access the cluster only from those ips I am skipping this part. Uh, you can add your IP letter also. Uh, so continue without securing the cluster. I will choose the connection string here. Show password. And I'm gonna copy this. So with this URI, we will connect to the MongoDB cluster we just created. So I have already copied that. Now we'll open the MongoDB compass. Let's see if it is up and running. Testing the URI here and clicking on the connect button. You can see the query is already not found. So our cluster is not up yet. You can see it is getting created. Let's just wait for a while. After a few minutes, you can see that the progress bar is gone and the action button is enabled. Now our cluster is created. So again, head over to the MongoDB compass and let's try again to connect to the cluster. You can see it is connecting and we are connected to the cluster. So you can see the databases. Here are the basic databases created with MongoDB cluster and we can create a new test database here and a new collection name test. So create database. You can see the database test is created and another test collection is created. Here we can add data, insert document. We can add document we want. So click on insert. You can see our cluster is working perfectly and this is how simple it is you can see you can click on continue and create i'm done so your cluster is up and running you can check the logs here so it's updating you can see yeah here are the logs for the cluster you can create additional users so here you can add the username and password. 
here are the settings you can destroy it so this is it hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching